Here is Playmobil 71006, Wildtopia DIY Advent Calendar, Animal Trip Around the World, issued September 2nd of 2022. Made from an average of 80% sustainable materials, including PCR, post-consumer resin plastic, which is fed back into the recycling loop and bio-based plastics. Perhaps you've seen the where it shows how they are recycling the plastic in old fridges and turning it into Playmobil. So let's take a look at these contents and then go over the pros and cons. First of all, here is the front of the box, and we can see that the numbered squares are all in place uh, according to however they best fit, it would appear. We can see a number of different animals accompanied by seasonal accessories. Uh, the kangaroo appears to be wearing socks. Beaver is uh, wearing a hat. The koalas are wearing mittens and holding a candy cane. So let's take a look at the back of the box. There's a lot going on here on the back of the box. The bottom portion shows exactly what's inside. We see that the animals are not, in fact, wearing holiday accessories. We see that you're supposed to fold up numbered boxes and uh, arrange them as so. And it looks like that boxes can be turned around when completed to form a pretty scene. And it looks like we have a set of stickers that do have the animals wearing their holiday fashions. This is an actual box with a very sturdy lid and a very sturdy bottom, unlike what one sees with most of these Playmobil advent calendars. It is very strong on the top, presumably because that's where you're supposed to stick those numbered boxes. Let's take a look at these contents. Here are two of the boxes that are intended to be folded up. We've got a number on one side and a picture of the mosaic on the other side. And yes, there are 24 boxes of varying sizes. I think I'm going to skip this part. We do have the illustration in the instructions and also on the back of the box that shows how these are supposed to be arranged inside the upper lid. Again, we have a number of the animals wearing holiday accessories setting expectations that the actual contents can indeed be set up this way. Also from the back of the box is the mosaic of the nature scene. There is a large sticker sheet included where we do see the animals as they are shown on the box with all of their holiday finery and a number of different letters and you can decorate the boxes as you see fit using these stickers. There are four numbered bags of contents and the bags themselves are made from 100% recycled plastic. And after you've got all those boxes folded up into box shapes, this is where the do-it-yourself part comes in. You're supposed to tear open all four bags and then using the instructions, figure out which pieces go into which daily box, which seems like a lot of issue for some people according to a lot of the reviews that I've read. So having the bags all opened and sorted, let's take a look at these contents. Day one brings us Ricardo Palmer and we can see that he is wearing uh, a very colorful shirt. He's got some nice stitching on his pants, cargo pants. He's got some sort of a large wrist accessory. He's wearing a vest. And most disconcerting is that he actually has pupils in his eyes, unlike the majority of previous Playmobil figures, with the exception of the ones from the Playmobil movie and certain of the mystery figures. Accompanying Ricardo on his adventures, he has a walkie-talkie with which to maintain communications with the rest of the Palmer family. He has binoculars and he has a map. This map is the only sticker other than the decorative ones included in the entire box. So just one sticker. Fantastic. Supposedly based in the Amazon basin, Ricardo has already traveled a fair distance as the first animal encountered on day two is a Kodiak bear with the meal of a herring. Day three brings us a cockatoo perched in some foliage from Australia. Day four, Ricardo has apparently gone to Africa to encounter a gazelle. Day five sees Ricardo heading back to Australia for some koalas and what appears to be uh, some grass or something. It does not look like eucalyptus leaves at all. Day six, apparently the airfare for Ricardo has been a little bit extreme and he has opted to take a boat 
all the way to India for day seven, where he will encounter a male peacock. Look at those tail feathers, my goodness. Day eight sees him apparently heading to the American Southwest, where he is um, interacting with a vulture and a delicious, tasty carcass. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Day nine shows Ricardo interacting with a skunk. Day 10, he is interacting with a rattlesnake, which is the exact same rattlesnake from 2020's Playmobil 70322 Pirate Treasure Advent Calendar. So if you've got that, now you've got two identical rattlesnakes. Day 11 is a young swordfish. Day 12, a kingfisher and hedgehogs. Day 13, I saw a tiger with a, looks like a tasty snack he's got going on there. Day 14, ring-tailed lemur, and he looks like he likes to move it, move it. Day 15, Kaimans, Kai Kaiman, Kai people, uh, anyway, mother and child. Day 16, uh, spade fish and butterfly fish. Day 17, reindeer, or caribou if you're in North America. Day 18, red panda. Day 19, flamingo, and yes, it, it can uh, bend at the legs. Day 20, uh, kangaroo and joey. So it looks like Ricardo is just basically taking this boat all over the globe in search of these animals, or perhaps he's just visiting a zoo. I, I don't know. Day 21, a rather large viper. Day 22, apparently back to North America for this beaver. Day 23, an Arctic fox. And day 24, uh, uh, I, I was almost over him. I, I was. I was almost over him. I, I, I think I'm going to need a minute. So here are the, uh, the 24 days. Let's take a look at some of the pros and cons. Pros, of course, it's uh, sustainable, which is always a bonus. The articulation, the design of the figures themselves is fantastic. The animals selected come from all different continents, so a plus there as well. If one does not count the decorative stickers, there is only the map sticker that needs to be placed, which is absolutely fantastic. Looking at the cons, I really don't care for Ricardo's eyes having pupils in them. He just doesn't match the majority of the other Playmobil. The majority of the other Wildtopia sets also include an information card about each animal. This has none. Also, a lot of people, as I have noted, uh, don't like the idea of having to assemble the 24 boxes and then sort each day's items into that box. And I'm thinking that the cardboard for all of those boxes could have been better used to insert a backdrop that can be reused as one sees with many of the other Playmobil advent calendars. For the price, you get a lot of stuff, um, and you can find various uses for all of these things, I'm sure. I can already see the reindeer joining Santa's sleigh and used in several other applications. Probably the biggest negative thing about this is it does a horrible job of setting expectations, where it shows all the animals wearing socks and mittens and little hats and things, and there's absolutely no way to do that unless you actually put the sticker on the plastic toy, which I'm sure is going to look really super lame. If you think that the lack of animal accoutrements will be an issue, I suppose you could always find or make small things to put on the animals in terms of uh, holiday decorations, etc. Uh, prior and just insert those items into each box with the animal for that day. Of course, you could also take hats from Santa Claus and some of the other elves and use those as uh, additional accessories. If you are looking for teen vigilantes, their stupid dog, or even Jimi Hendrix, please check us out on eBay at Jerry's Junk Drawer. As always, Jerry's Junk Drawer is conveniently located 60 miles south of Phoenix in beautiful historic Fort Stinkin' Desert. Open noon to midnight on the 6th Tuesday of every month, excluding national and regional holidays, or visit our eBay store, Jerry's Junk Drawer. Thank you for watching. And thank you for encouraging my behavior.